This is so freaking cool. If you are moving over from ClickFunnels, you need to know about this feature, which I'm gonna show you at the end of this video. It's really, really freaking cool. But let's go ahead and set up this landing page from scratch so you can kind of see how the actual funnel builder works. Hi there and welcome to the channel. My name is Janae Jackson and I am a digital marketer and blogger. Here on this channel, we're dedicated to all things business, marketing, and automation for small business owners and online entrepreneurs. If that sounds like your cup of tea or your cup of coffee, consider subscribing. In this video, we're gonna be overviewing the funnel page builder and the landing page builder inside of Go High Level. To give you a good overview of exactly how the landing page builder works, I'm gonna be replicating some parts of Russell Brunson's One Funnel Away landing page. I'm gonna link to this exact page down in the description below. If you're not already familiar with Go High Level, it's a software that I personally use and recommend for professional marketers to set up every single business automation that you can imagine, from email marketing, text message marketing, landing pages, funnel pages, pop-ups, you can even install a chat widget on your website. If you're not a professional marketer, so for example, you're another type of small business owner or entrepreneur, such as a coach, a consultant, an accountant, a photographer, I recommend checking out Authority HQ. Now, Authority HQ is a white label version of High Level that's specifically designed for small business owners and entrepreneurs. If you find this video helpful and after watching you decide that you'd like to give either Go High Level or Authority HQ a try, I'll leave my referral link down in the description below where you can claim a free exclusive bonus in addition to 14 days free. So go ahead and check out those bonus offers in the description below and let's get started. So here I am inside of Authority HQ, which again is the white label version of Go High Level. And I'm gonna go ahead and head to where it says funnels and websites, click that drop down, and I'm gonna go into funnels. Now let's start from scratch and set up this funnel. So we're gonna hit new funnel. You can choose from some templates that they already have or you can build a new one from scratch. So let's go ahead and say dupe of one funnel away challenge. All right, so let's go ahead and create. And here is where you're gonna be able to set the different steps in your funnel. So obviously you're gonna need a landing page, perhaps after the landing page, you're gonna have an upsell page after that, once their payment is confirmed, perhaps you're gonna have an onboarding page where you're gonna thank them for their purchase and then give them instructions on what to do next. However you set up your funnel is totally up to you, but you're gonna be able to add all of the steps here. So let's go ahead and add the first step, which is gonna be one funnel away landing page. All right. And then down here is where we're gonna set the URL path. Let's just say uh, one funnel away landing page. And this is so freaking cool. If you are moving over from ClickFunnels into Authority HQ or go high level, you need to know about this feature, which I'm gonna show you at the end of this video. It's really, really freaking cool. Stay tuned for that. But let's go ahead and set up this particular landing page from scratch so you can kind of see how the actual funnel builder works. So we have the landing page, the first step set up. Let's go ahead and hit edit page and it's gonna build us into the drag and drop builder. So the first thing it's gonna ask us is, do we want the page to be full width, wide, medium or small? Let's go ahead and hit full width. All right, so the first thing we're going to do um, now, how you build landing pages may be different. I'm just going to go along and you can kind of see how my brain works to, if I wanted to duplicate this page into Go High Level from scratch. So first, I would want to start with the color. So it looks, I would, I have a color picker widget here. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to figure out what color is it that they're using here and I'm gonna copy that color. Then I'm gonna take that color, 
let's go ahead and close this out then I'm gonna take that color and bring it over here I'm gonna choose background color and we're gonna add a custom color we're gonna copy the color code there add color wonderful so now the background is the color that I want it to be now let's just double check yep perfect looks good so I'm going to now want to add a header so if I go up top here to where it says elements I'm gonna add an element and I'm gonna add a headline oops so we're gonna hit element add element and we're gonna drag a headline what am I doing wrong so we need to add a row that's what I'm doing wrong so we're gonna make sure this particular row inside of the section we only need one column to start with now we can add an element so we're gonna add the headline element and we're gonna go ahead and change it to what we wanted to say how about a step-by-step -step help how about step by step help to set up your first or next funnel now I also have what do you call these things it's not a widget extension I also have a Chrome extension for figuring out what font is on someone's website. So I can go here and I can see that he's using Montserrat. So I'm gonna go ahead and click over here and we're gonna make sure that we select the headline first of all. And then we're gonna go where we can choose the type of font. Let's do custom. And we're gonna make sure that it's Montserrat. Perfect. Let's go ahead also and change the color of the font to white for both regular and bolded text. Perfect. It's also a lot bigger. So let's go ahead and increase the size until it looks about the same. Maybe somewhere around there. And let's go ahead and get this part on a new line so it looks more similar he obviously has like a, a shadow element on the text so let's go ahead and do that as well let's see here no that's for the box we want a shadow on the font how can we do that so let's make sure it's selected text shadow so right now we have no shadow. Let's see what mid shadow looks like. Ah, let's make it a little bit heavier. Strong shadow. And there you can see that the text is definitely standing out more because we've got a strong shadow on it. So let's go ahead and make this sub headline as well. You can either go back up to elements, add element, and select this. But we already have all of the settings right here so let's just go ahead and duplicate right here and then we're going to change what the actual wording says for just 3126 and then we have 100 over here with a question mark oops so we have a dollar sign 3000 all right this one is crossed out so let's go ahead and select this text and there's an option for that right here perfect and then this part is a lot bigger than the top part here so let's go ahead and increase that font size a bit and we can change let's also see what color red that is so let's go to the color picker and there's the code for the red let's copy that over here if they don't have your color you can add your own color 
add your color code oh no that's not what we want to do we want to change the color of the font not that section so we're actually going to do that down here so this is a bolded so we're going to just go ahead and select red am i doing that nope that's not correct so it would be here yes there we go all right but i don't really like how that looks i think it looks much better in white and then just having the the 100 being red let's just leave it white for now and there's definitely going to be a way to change this to red but you know for the sake of time we're not going to fiddle around with that too much let's just continue to the important elements of the page so down here you can see he has a video um, for some versions of this sales page i've seen him have a um, two-step order form um, sometimes he has the the mock-up with all of the everything that comes inside of the challenge it just depends you can build this however you'd like um, but the point is there's two columns here so in this section let's see here we should be able to so inside of a section there are rows so we want to add a row and then inside of that row we want to add two columns boom in this column here we want to add an element which is a video perfect and then over here we have as i mentioned you can put a two-step order form there you can put a mock-up you can put whatever you want um hmm because i don't have a picture of a mock-up right now let's just go ahead and add a two-step order form and boom of course we could change the background color and all of that but again for the sake of time let's just keep it simple if we wanted to we can change the color of this button um, let's go ahead and add a timer let's add an on page timer countdown timer perfect and where do we want to put this let's put it up at the top and let's go ahead and change the color to white the label color to white so it stands out a lot more and let's see how else we can customize this we can float we can change the font we can set the time and date for the actual countdown timer we can change the size of course we can let's see how it would look i think it looks fine the way that it is we can change the subtext to make it a little bit bigger what do you want to happen once the timer expires all of that for now let's just go ahead and add a little margin space on the bottom and let's see here what else do we want to customize let's go ahead and add a date so we'll add for the 20th let's add halloween how many days we have left until halloween boom bam so we have our countdown timer there i kind of would like to change the color of that button to that more striking red Let's also make the button a bit bigger. And then we can, let's see here, change the actions. We can change, we can change, um, for example, if you don't need someone's shipping information, you can definitely turn that information off so for example toggle shipping we can hide shipping because we don't even need their shipping information right and uh, what else do we want to put go to step two let's change that to join the challenge now all right that looks pretty good 
if we wanted to kind of make this section stand out a little bit, we can copy this darker blue there we go just going to copy that and we're going to come over here and we can make this section be that darker blue let's see add a custom color add color et voila and we can add if we want some padding on the left, some padding on the right, some padding on the top and on the bottom. Looking good. And then we can, you know, bring this over a little bit more if we wanted to make this wider. Oops. What am I doing here? Yeah, we can make it wider if we want. And there you have it. Let's go ahead and add some more elements. For example, this, this um, text here, we can just copy it. And then we're gonna go back to elements, add element. We're gonna add a subheading sounds good and we can copy paste it right in there we can of course change the color oops no nope. we want to change the color of the font not of the background so we're going to go here and we're going to change it to white and let's actually move this in but because i'm working here on a split screen you know it doesn't really give me too much space there but you get the picture so then here i can go in and i can bold whatever parts of the text that i want um, but then you want to make sure that this the bolded text is also white i can underline whatever words i want but you want to also make sure that the underlying text is also the proper color and it does look a little bit bigger we can change the size let's go here desktop font size and make it a little bit bigger and you get the picture you can very very easily duplicate a landing page just as easily as you would in any drag and drop website builder or funnel builder go high level it's really really top notch their website building platform here if we wanted to continue i would make this area here so you can see this is a whole nother section so i would go down here and i would add another full width section you want to make sure this is also two columns so here we would add an element this could be an icon or an image you can see there it's an image so i would add an image in that box and then i would add a headline and a subheadline let's do that let's add a headline and let's add another subheadline and then we could make we can do, for example, a line on the top of this box. Let's see here. All right, here we can see border. So we can do a top border and we can make it gray if we want, or we can leave it as black. Let's make it that color there. Actually, no, let's go ahead and make it black. And let's make it five pixels. And then here for this one, I can make it advanced border. We're going to do a bottom border. And let's also make it five pixels. 
And of course, you can make it the same gray here, but again, for the sake of time, we're just gonna keep it simple. So here, let's go ahead and change the width. By the way, guys, I'm doing this with one hand. Like, I'm, I'm right-handed, and I'm doing all of what I'm doing as quickly as I'm doing it with my left hand because before I got into marketing, I was a wedding photographer for many years and I, I would all the time hold my camera incorrectly and I developed tendonitis in my right arm. And so, you know, it can be very painful and annoying sometimes to use my right arm to type and to do these kind of things. So I like to just give my right arm a break whenever I'm doing something super simple and easy like this. But let's just go ahead and save this image. For example, and we can just upload it right over here. All right, so we upload that image, select that image, boom, there you have the same exact icon. Let's go ahead and change this. Freedom is just one funnel away. Let's go ahead and make it blue. So that looks bolded. So we're gonna make it blue. And then this one is like that darker blue. Boom. And we're gonna want both to be much bigger. That looks pretty good. And we're gonna also make sure that's bolded. Let's make this bigger as well. Boom and that looks pretty good if we wanted to make it that gray color let's see if we could pick that gray color up from over here there we go all right so here advanced top border we want to change it from that black to a custom color which is this gray that looks a little bit better and we can make it, we can change the weight of that very easily if we wanted to, just here. Let's just go ahead and change it. Boom, bam. All right, looks really good. Now we can add a whole nother section or we can just add another row. Another row also with two columns. And here we're gonna add some paragraph text. Oh no, we wanna add an element, my bad. We're gonna add a paragraph element. And then over here we're gonna add an image. And then over here we're gonna left align. We're gonna also make that a whole lot bigger. You can make your spacing however you like, and then you can add whatever picture you wanna add over there. Let's go ahead and add this lovely lady's face. Beautiful, and then of course you can type whatever text that you want over here. And we could bold this. Now it does look like they're using quite a bit of spacing. So let's go ahead and see if we can customize that as well. 
custom font. Let's go ahead and use Montserrat also. Letter spacing. No, we don't want letter spacing. We want line spacing. Here it is. Line height. There we go. That looks a little bit more on par. Looking good. Now, obviously, he has a, a longer picture, and this is a shorter picture. Let's go ahead and take this part out. And then we can add this section here. We would add another row, but this time with one column. And then in here, we would do a border for sure, full border. And we're gonna make this full border, let's just say blue. And then we're gonna make this section background color. Also a shade of blue, but not quite that shade. Let's see here, blue. And it looks kind of like a light baby blue. Yeah, that looks about right. Let's go ahead and choose that. Add color. Perfect. We can add another subheading. Or actually, let's just go ahead and duplicate this one and then drag it down here. And then we can add, we can do the same thing here, just duplicate this since we already have all the settings that we want and then just drag it down here. Drag this to the top. For this entire section, we wanna make sure we have some, do we want margin or padding? We want padding. So padding is inside of an element and margin is outside of an element. That's not what I wanna do. I wanna do padding on the top, right. And we can also do some on the left and on the right. You also wanna make sure everything is also equal. Looking good, looking good. And the rest of the page is gonna be exactly what you've seen me doing already. You're gonna add another sub, I would add another row, right? Right underneath this row with one column and go ahead and add another subheading, change the fonts and the settings to how exactly you want it. Same here, this is gonna be a paragraph text this is just an image that you can save or you can add your own image, et cetera, et cetera. Very, very simple. If you wanted to add a button like this one, you would go here to elements, add element, and you can just drag a button wherever you'd like. Of course, you can make it whatever color you want, whatever size you'd want as well. Let's go here. There's some different themes in here. You can have the button do whatever you'd like. Very, very easy breezy to do anything like this in Go High Level. In the interest of time, let's go ahead and move on to a super, super, super clutch hack i'm gonna show you of course you can create a landing page a funnel page whatever you want to call it from scratch just like this using another website as inspiration i would absolutely not recommend that you rip off somebody's page exactly the way that it is that's not cool but you can definitely take inspiration from another website to make it your own absolutely but 
this is really cool. You can actually import a ClickFunnels landing page into Go High Level just like this without having to do any of what I just showed you, okay? And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So, oh, I also wanna show you in the mobile view. So if you go ahead and click mobile, you can see that it's very intuitive. It's gonna set everything up so that it also looks really, really good in mobile. Of course, you're gonna wanna go in and you're gonna wanna tweak it to your liking so that it looks really, really good on mobile because most of your customers in 2021 and 2022 are gonna be scrolling your website on their mobile phones. So you always wanna make sure that you come in here and you make sure everything is optimized perfectly for mobile. As you can see, you really don't have to do much. Um, but let's go ahead and head back to desktop and then let's preview what the page will actually look like outside of the builder. And as you can see, if I would have taken just a little bit more time, I could definitely get it to look exactly like any other sales page on the internet. Super easy, super cool, very, very easy and intuitive. Let's go ahead and close this out and we are going to save this. And I'm gonna show you that super clutch hack. All right, we're gonna go back to the funnel page builder right here. And actually what we're gonna do is instead of creating a whole nother funnel, let's just make it another step in the funnel. So we're gonna add a step here and we're gonna name this one funnel away, click funnels transfer, okay? One funnel away, click funnels transfer, boom. Now, with any click funnels page, I'm almost certain that it's with any clicks funnels page that exists already, you can copy the URL of that ClickFunnels page, just the plain URL. You're gonna come right over here. This of course is an optional step and you're gonna paste it right over here. And it's gonna ask your permission. I confirm that this page either belongs to me or I have permission to use these assets, okay? We're gonna be importing this page directly from ClickFunnels into Go High Level or Authority HQ. Now, as I mentioned before, you're not ever gonna rip off somebody else's page, okay? You, but you can import another page and then you can customize it to your liking, meaning customizing all of the important assets, including the copy, the videos, the pictures, the elements, the icons, all of those things you're gonna replace with your own intellectual property. You cannot take somebody's anything, not their copy, not their anything, but you can certainly use the layout as a foundation to make your own, okay? Now with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and confirm and you're gonna create funnel step and just give it a few seconds to work its magic and be amazed. All right, so here we can see the transfer is complete and everything is loading. And voila, we just skipped creating this page from scratch by simply transferring the layout over to go high level. Now, as you can see, there are some differences and some tweaks that you're gonna have to make. So for example, the background color did not transfer for some of the sections. So in here, for example, I'd wanna make sure that I go in and I would change the background color to whatever I wanted to. But here you can see it even transferred the color codes for all of the pages. And look at that, boom. Let's see here, let's 
minimize this so that we can see it more side to side. And you can see here, it looks very, very freaking, it's the same, it's exactly the same. You'll just have to go in and make your tweaks. Um, here, for example, the, the countdown, the countdown timer is a little bit different. Um, but of course you can use CSS to customize things the way that you would like. But if you go down here, you can see that the important elements have transferred over beautifully. This font, the font settings for this did not quite transfer over as well as the check boxes because this seems to be a special feature that ClickFunnels has or um, some custom coding I'm sure can accomplish this as well. Um, but you can see all of the important elements have moved right over. You cannot, you cannot leave a page with elements that are not yours, not even a single element that is not yours because you will be found out and you will be called out and that's just not cool. We have to keep a certain level of decorum in this marketing space. So you're gonna wanna make sure you go in and you're gonna change this to whatever you want it to say for your business. All you pay is $100. Get this for just $29 or whatever your pricing is. You're gonna replace this image because this is an image a screenshot with an image of your own review from your own program. You're gonna go to a mock-up software um, and you're gonna, I'm gonna link in the description below um, my personal favorite mock-up software. You're gonna go ahead and create a mock-up for your own course or program and paste that in there um, and everything else. But you can see like, hello, can it be any easier for you to move over and switch from ClickFunnels to go high level? I don't think so. Um, this, of course, is another section that you're gonna go in and have to edit. Um, but, I mean, come on. You cannot ask for anything more, or you can just remove this all together. You can remove this all together. Yeah, we're gonna just gonna remove this. This is just incredible. Make sure you check out the link to everything I talked about in the description below if you have any questions. If you need my help creating a website like this of your own from scratch or you want it to be specially customized for you, if you need help setting up your account with Go High Level or Authority HQ, any questions at all, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Check the information in the description. I'm gonna leave a link either over here or over here on the screen to a playlist with some other tutorials and helpful videos like this one that's gonna help you to automate your business and get your business running on autopilot. I'm also gonna leave a link for you to subscribe to this channel so you can see my face again and get notified whenever I post new videos that's gonna help you within your business. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.